Hello everyone, my name is Karan Lodani and I am an inter CA student and I am pursuing the article ship in Jeshisha and Company. Today my topic is detailed information about Form 15 CA and Form 15 CT. I will start from the introduction part. Basic purpose behind the Form 15 CA and Form 15 CB is to collect the taxes at the stage when the remittance is made to the non-resident. It may not be possible to collect the tax from the non-resident at a later stage. Second, remittance means a person can transfer the monetary terms to the another person who lives in another country. Under Section 195 of Income Tax Act says that every person make a payment to the non-resident shall deduct the TDS to such chargeable to tax then he has to file the Form 15CA and Form 15CD to monitor and track the transaction in an efficient manner. Then it was introduced the e-filing of information in the certificate. My next point is applicability. What is applicability for the Form 15CA and Form 15CD? First is remittance to the abroad, second is remittance to non-resident, third remittance to foreign company, fourth remittance which is chargeable to the tax. My next point is what is Form 15 CA? As per the section 195, any person make a payment to a non-resident, not being a company or to a foreign company, shall deduct the TDS if such chargeable to a tax, then details are to be furnished in the Form 15 CA. Form 15 CA is filed by the remitter. In certain cases, a certificate from Chartered Accountant in Form 15 CB is required before uploading the Form 15 CA in online. This the Form 15 CA is total divided in four parts. Depending upon your case, you will need to find particular part. Part A, where the remittance or aggregate of remittance does not exceed rupees 5 lakh during the financial year. Second, Part B, where the remittance or aggregate of the such remittance exceeds rupees 5 lakh during the financial year. And order of certificate under section 195, subsection 2 and 195, subsection 3 and 197 of the income tax. This session is relevant to the lower TDS or nil TDS. Part D, where the remittance is not chargeable to the tax under the Income Tax Act. Aage hum jaante hai ki Form 15 CB kya hai? Form 15 CB is certificate to be furnished by the chartered accountant in case where the payment exceeds rupees 5 lakh during the financial year and payment made to the non-resident not being an Indian company or a non-resident person or a foreign company. This, and also to be said that the certificate from the assessing officer has not obtained for lower TDS or nil TDS. In Form 15 CV, Chartered Accountant certifies the details like details of the payment of the remittance, TDS rates, TDS deductions, details of nature and purpose of the remittance and whether DTA is applicable. Of course, I will tell you DTA. Ke mein. DTA is a tax treaty entered by the government of India with another country. Currently, India has DTA agreement with 86 countries in the world. I will give you example. Dena hon. For example, Mr. Rohit, resident in India and earn the income in USA. Suppose he earned rupees 5 lakh rupees. So in this situation, he has to charge the tax in India basis of the residential. And he has also to be charged in USA basis on the source of the income. So in this situation, we can say that double tax has been linked on the same income. So reason for the DTS to avoiding of the double taxation of income and preventing of tax evasion and tax avoidance. This DTA we have a lot of Like there are two methods for calculating the DTA. First is exemption method. Second is tax credit method. Jada detail me exemption method For example, 
Mr. Rowan earned the income in USA. Suppose he has to pay the taxes rupees 50,000 in USA. And in this situation, India has also to be charged the tax. So he has to pay the tax in USA. And he, if India has agreement with USA, then he has to pay India to tax in India. Because this is the exempted method. And second method is tax credit method. Suppose Rowan has वो इनकम अर्न कर रहा है यूएसए से 50000 एंड यहां पे हर एक इनकम का हर एक अलग-अलग रेट होता है तो सपोज इंडिया में अगर उसका रेट है 60% ले सपोज वो 60000 उसको टैक्स पे करना होता है तो वहां पे तो ऑलरेडी उसने 50000 टैक्स पे कर लिया है तो यहां पे भी 60000 थे तो इसलिए अगर डीटी एग्रीमेंट है इंडिया और यूएसए से के साथ तो इन दिस सिचुएशन ही हैज ऑलरेडी पेड द टैक्स ऑफ रुपीस 50000 इन यूएसए एंड इन दिस टैक्स क्रेडिट मेथड he has only paid rupees 10,000 in India because total tax is 60,000. My next point is here mandatory information required for form 15 CA and form 15 CP. First is details chayote remitter key. First, name of the remitter, address of the remitter, PAN number of the remitters, principal place of the business of the remitter, email address and phone number of the remitter. Status of the parameter, whether it is a firm, company, partnership firms, others. And also, if the remitters are paid, what are the remitters of the details of the bank? I will tell you that. First, name of bank of the remitter. Second, name of the branch of the bank. Third, DSR code of the bank. Now, I will tell you about the next point. What are the details and documents of the remitters? Name and status of the remitter. Address of the remedy, country of the remedy, place of business of the remedy. अगर India and USA के साथ DTA agreement है, तो form 10F is duly filed by the authorized person of the remedy. कि अगर ये agreement दिया है, तो अगर उसने जो जो information हमको दी है remedy ने, तो whether it is correct, it is authorized by the authorized person of the remedy. And second point is tax residency certificate. अगर सपोज रोवन इनकम अर्न कर रहा है यूएसए से तो ऑलरेडी वहां पे इनकम अर्न कर रहा है तो टैक्स भी वहां से मीन डिडक्ट करते ही होंगे तो वहां की गवर्नमेंट उसको इशू करके देगी टैक्स रेसिडेंसी सर्टिफिकेट थर्ड सर्टिफिकेट दैट रेमिटी डज नॉट हैव परमानेंट एस्टैब्लिशमेंट इन इंडिया कि वो इंडिया का रेसिडेंट नहीं है ही इज अ लिव्ड इन यूएसए नेक्स्ट पॉइंट डिटेल्स ऑफ द रेमिटेंस अगर हम जब रेमिटेंस पे कर रहे हैं तो उस कंट्री का नेम करेंसी इन विच करंट रेमिटेंस इज मेड अमाउंट ऑफ रेमिटेंस इन इंडियन करेंसी द प्रपोज डेट ऑफ द रेमिटेंस जिस डेट को वो पे कर रहा है रेमिटेंस एंड लास्ट नेचर ऑफ रेमिटेंस एज पर द अग्रीमेंट इनवॉइस कॉपी रेमिटर को आज मतलब पूछ लेना पड़ेगा कि अग्रीमेंट किया है कितना रेमिटेंस पे करना है तो उस हिसाब से इनवॉइस कॉपी चाहिए होता है रेमिटेंस के लिए नेक्स्ट when is form 15 CA and form 15 CB is not required to be furnished according to the rule 37 BP of Income Tax Act form 15 CA is not required to be furnished in following transactions I want to tell you a situation I want to tell you a remittance is made by the individual and does not require the prior approval of RBI for an example in India in 1999 एक एक्ट पास हुआ था फेमा फॉरेन एक्सचेंज मेंटेनेंसमेंट एक्ट द परपस बिहाइंड दिस टू प्रमोट एंड इंक्रीज द फॉरेन एक्सचेंज अभी इस लिस्ट में आपको बताना चाहता हूँ किस किस ट्रांजेक्शन में हमको फॉर्म 15 C A एंड फॉर्म 15 C B फिलहाल नहीं करना होता फर्स्ट इस इंडियन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन अब्रोड इन इक्विटी Indian investment abroad in subsidiaries, associations, and in branches. And fourth one is the import below rupees 5 lakh as per the use by the economic and community development offices. Sixth point remittance towards the business travels, travel for the pilgrimage, travel, and travel for the medical treatment, travel for the education purposes, etc. etc. And remittance towards the donation to the religions and charitable institutes in abroad, and many more in their lists. 
And last point is there penalty. If parameter is not to file form 15 CA or provide inaccurate information or misleading information in form 15 CA, then in this situation, assessing officer may impose a tax of rupees penalty of rupees one lakh to a remitter under section under provisions under section of 271 i of income tax act thank you and this video is for the educational purpose does not has expert advice advice in it